A cruise to Alaska is on many people's wish lists and for good reason. The sightseeing is truly magical, and a cruise is a phenomenal way to see the expansive state. Here are 10 tips you may not have heard before about cruising to the last frontier. Now you'll want to stick around to the end of this video and we'll give you an idea of what to expect from the vibe on board the ship cruising to Alaska because it is different. Our first tip is to know when to book your cruise. Book your cruise in May for the lowest fares and the sunniest conditions, June and July for the midnight sun, September and October for those low, low prices, quiet ports, and a fair amount of cool weather and drizzle. July and August can be the warmest months and the weeks when bears are most active because the salmon are spawning. Now we'll come back to planning and pre-cruise tips in a moment, but I have a dining tip for you to get you excited for all the delicious food on your cruise. When cruising to Alaska, watch for special regional cuisine on board the ship. Some cruise lines offer things like fresh caught fish or even crab legs on board, and they're not to be missed. Usually the cruise line marks the menus to indicate a partnership with a local eatery. So watch for that salmon and those crab cakes and fish tacos and eat like an Alaskan. If you're cruising out of Seattle, we recommend purchasing the Seattle City Pass. You can save 43% on six major Seattle attractions, which include the Space Needle, Seattle Aquarium, and three more of your choice. Just be sure to fly in a day or two before your cruise or plan to extend your stay after the cruise to get the most from your pass. Special thanks to our subscriber, Catherine, for this awesome tip. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Through over 20 years of cruise experience, I help travelers with cruise planning, packing, and destination tips so you can create your dream cruise. I have tons of Alaska cruise tips and content for you that I will link to in the description of this video, as well as an Amazon shopping list that I update monthly with the hottest Alaska gear. So look for that in the description of video and pin to the top of the comments. Back to the tips. If you're driving to your port in Alaska, book a hotel with a park and stay package. Parking is really expensive at the port, especially Seattle. If you're not driving in, Uber and Lyft are great ways to get from your hotel to the port if no shuttle is available. Now, if you're flying to your cruise, be sure to arrive at the airport nice and early. The Seattle airport can be notoriously busy, especially during peak cruise season, so plan accordingly. No doubt you've heard the old adage, pack layers when it comes to Alaska. So that means jeans, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and jackets, right? We know that, we've got that part down. But here are some specific tips for packing clothing that you may not have known or thought of. So take notes here. These items are actually recommended by Alaska residents and they will keep you more comfortable. What are they? Well, moisture wicking socks and water resistant shoes are essentials on your voyage to the last frontier. You don't need full fledged hiking boots. In fact, those can be really stiff and uncomfortable, but shop for a shoe that is waterproof or water resistant if you wanna keep your feet dry and warm in often drizzly Alaska and wear your shoes in before your cruise. Never wear brand new shoes on a cruise. Another tip for packing for Alaska, don't assume it's going to be cold the whole time. I get DMs from Pacific Northwest residents every year saying, don't pack like Alaska is the frozen tundra. So what should you pack to prepare? First, we recommend a pair of shorts. While you may not reach for the shorts over the course of your cruise, you'll be glad you pack them if you experience 80 degree weather, which is not uncommon during the warmer months in Alaska. Also, we highly recommend you pack swimwear. Chilling out in a hot tub on an Alaskan cruise can be one of the most relaxing and majestic experiences and we swear by it. It's so memorable. All right, Alaska is expensive, so you're going to want to budget and plan ahead. Here are some specific ways to do that. First, travel with plenty of cash. ATM fees can be expensive anywhere you travel and you're less likely to overspend if you're paying cash for those souvenirs and excursions. Next, book your excursions in advance, either with the cruise line or independently. 
And finally, if you're planning excursions, budget as far in advance as you can. Many excursions in Alaska fall into the big ticket category. So if you're planning helicopter, flight seeing, or dog sledding adventures, plan for $250 to $500 per person per activity, sometimes more. If you're cruising on a budget like we are, here are four things you can do on the cheap beyond just walking around the ports. In some ports, you can rent bikes, which allows you to see more than you would on foot. If you're not into biking, consider renting a car. With a rental car, you can replicate popular sightseeing excursions or simply head out to hiking trails, which is really fun in Alaska. While we're on the topic of hiking, some of our favorite spots to hike on an Alaska cruise are the short and manageable trail to Nugget Falls at Mendenhall Glacier, and also the trails at the top of the Mount Roberts Tram in Juneau. It'll cost you to get up to that hill, but it's worth it. Another great way to spend the day on a budget in Alaska is to hit up local restaurants and pubs. You can get appetizers, a cold beer, and a shared entree. A great place to graze on a budget is the Skagway Brewing Company. Try their beer sampler, try the fish chips, grab a specialty burger, and a side of hand-cut fries to sample real Alaskan food. Now I want to share a few bonus packing tips. First one is to pack a light-blocking sleep mask if you're a light-sensitive sleeper. The sun does not set until late in the evening in the summer months, and it can be an issue for some people if the light leaks into your cabin. Finally, pack a travel size mosquito repellent if you're venturing out on a hiking, bear watching, or another activity that takes place outdoors, particularly if you're near streams or rivers. The bugs in Alaska are no joke. Those little mosquitoes will get you. Now, earlier in this video, we mentioned the vibe on an Alaska cruise. You remember that? And if you've cruised to other regions like the Caribbean or Mexico, you may have experienced tropical cocktails, poolside sail-away parties, steel drum bands. While the same cruise ships that visit those warm weather destinations head to Alaska, you can expect the vibe on board the ship to be notably different. The activities are more mellow. They're more destination focused. And the emphasis is on nature, not really the hairy chess contest and the Cupid shuffle. You'll probably find the passenger mix to be mostly families, couples, people cruising to relax and explore, and just a little bit less partying and nightlife in general. All right, that wraps up our Alaska tips. We hope you learned something new today. We want you to jump into the comments, tell us which tip was your favorite, and check out our Alaska packing and planning videos in the description of the video, and of course, pinned to the top of the comments. You also definitely want to check out our Alaska Cruise packing store over on Amazon. We have everything from hats and scarves to jackets, those waterproof shoes that we mentioned, such a great selection, things for your stateroom, binoculars, things that are just going to make you so much more comfortable on your cruise to Alaska. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful cruise to the last frontier, friends. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.